Standing in front of the Diego Maradona Stadium, the brother of the famous footballer announced his intention to run in Naples municipal elections for a right-wing party. They put forward the idea of helping local children. I accepted and I'm very happy to be doing it. But Hugo Maradona is Argentinian and doesn't yet have Italian nationality, which is essential to stand for election. So his name is no longer on the electoral list, but he is still an active campaigner. His primary project? To establish a football school in San Giovanni a Teruccio, a suburb of Naples. He's counting on sport as a way out for local disadvantaged youngsters and on the unifying impact of Diego Maradona, who, after arriving in Naples in 1984 from Argentina, led the team to their greatest successes, three-time winners of the Italian Cup and champions of the UEFA Cup in 1989. One year after his death, the ex-captain of the Naples team is still considered a hero. Maradona, look, I get goosebumps just talking about him. He was everything to us. He made Naples proud again. And even if he was Argentinian, he was more Neapolitan, more than anybody else. Is just using his brother's name a strong enough campaign slogan? In the neighbourhood known as the Spanish Quarter, in the historical heart of Naples, the voters are disillusioned. Do you really want me to answer? Because it makes me sick. They're all vultures, vultures. Maradona is in people's hearts, not on everyone's lips. Maradona is a question of faith. Not to involve the footballer in politics is also the opinion of Diego Armando Jr., Maradona's son. The son of the famous goalscorer has been training the Napoli United team for a few weeks now. He was also approached by the right-wing candidate to join his electoral list before his uncle was asked. I refused, firstly because those are not my political leanings. I'm on the left. But it also didn't seem respectful of everything my father did. He fought against the establishment, against capitalism and against the right. Diego Jr. is taking it even further. He condemns the use of his father's image for political gain. He is preparing a case with his lawyers to protect the image of Diego Maradona. These are people who've tried to use the image of my father for personal gain, but they've made a bad impression, a very bad impression. The son's position is undermining the political campaign supported by the brother. Gianni Molinari is the political editor of the most popular daily newspaper in Naples. He knows all about how Neapolitans can be influenced by their hero, Diego Maradona. If Diego Maradona had run for election himself, I bet 98 to 99 percent would have voted in his favor. But the others, not really. There's a lot of folklore. The problem in this city today is just that, connecting the folklore to the real needs of the city, taking it beyond football to jobs and the economy. The real concerns of Neapolitans today are improving public transport, dealing with refuse collection and creating jobs. In Naples, 16% of households are entirely dependent on benefits as their source of income, which is three times higher than the national average. The local mafia know how to take advantage of this poverty. To counter-attack, the ex-minister for universities and research, Gaetano Manfredi, is counting on education. The head of the left-wing coalition has promised to create a sports ground in every neighbourhood within the next two years. In Naples, sports is very important to young people. It can become an important educational tool. Today, there are already a number of associations that look after youngsters in difficulty and get them involved in sports programs. It's a good way to keep them from turning to crime. Without actually campaigning, Diego Maradona Jr. has given his support to his candidature. On the other side, the right-wing coalition is led by Catello Maresca. L'unica speranza della nostra città è ripartire dal rispetto delle regole. He is also campaigning against the Camorra. He used to be an anti-mafia judge. It's a subject I know well. I know what we have to do, how we must do it, and I know they're afraid of Catello Maresca. That reassures me for what I'm doing. The match between the son and the brother is taking place at the ballot box on the 3rd and 4th of October.